Good evening, or it is the 18th of March, 2024. Um, I wanna, I'm an English teacher, and I'm also very interested in psychology and sociology and philosophy. Uh, I do a philosophy group on a, on a Sunday. Um, please don't hesitate to contact me uh, if you're interested in joining the philosophy group. Um, it's not my philosophy group, it's somebody else's philosophy group. But I'm going to talk about the expression to go back to the drawing board. To go back to the drawing board is an expression we use in English, which essentially for me means to conceptualize the future. So obviously in personal development, this is a very important thing to do. Sorry, my phone is going here. Um, I couldn't conceptualize that, obviously. Right? So conceptualizing the future. Um, and there are, I've realized that there are several ways to do this. You could, uh, you could do it through affirmations. Um, obviously the affirmations need to be as realistic as possible, otherwise they're not gonna work. If you say, as I've said in other videos, if you say, I'm gonna to go to the moon tomorrow, it's not gonna work. And visualizations are the same. I learned that when I first learned about affirmations and visualizations in Hal Rod's book, The Miracle Morning. Uh, so you can check that out. If you want to check out that book. You could also just think about the future. Um, how often do you spend thinking about the future? Um, I've actually started doing this more and more since I read that book, The Miracle Morning. Um, and more recently, I've been doing it quite a lot every morning, in fact. Um, so I think it's a good, a good thing to do because if you can't conceptualize the future, then how are you gonna get to the future? We have this capacity to do as human beings. As human beings, we can, as I as I watched recently in a Jordan Peterson lecture on the internet on psychology, um, we can actually see, for example, I this computer mouse, I can see it, and then I can I can see it now, and. If I want to, I can pick it up. So I can conceptualize what's going on before I actually do it. And that's a capacity we have as human beings. Um, and I've been doing this quite recently um, in the morning. Um, I'm looking for actually for English students uh, for my business and um, Adults and 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 young ad, young uh, young adults, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen year olds, um, to give English lessons. Um, I actually conceptualized the future, and I had a goal. Uh, my goal was to contact uh, teachers uh, in France, but it turns out that they can't. You know, I had that objective, but it turns out they can't do that. They're not allowed to do that. So I have to. I'm going to have to conceptualize again. I know I can contact 13 people on LinkedIn per day. And that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to type in uh, students of English. I'm directly going to contact the students, so hopefully that one will work. Um, but I've been thinking about it each day in the morning, just conceptualizing the future. The first thing I did when I woke up was try and conceptualize the future. Um, and it seems like, you know, in brainstorming meetings at work, that's what we're doing. We're, concept we're actually conceptualizing the future, trying to conceptualize the future. Um, it's actually a difficult thing to do. Actually, it's not so difficult. It seems to be like using your imagination. It can be fairly easy for me, I think. Um, in prayer, in Islam, one of the five main pillars of, of Islam is prayer. Um, and I was on a philosophy call, and one of the people who was uh, from the Islamic religion was talking about how he used his prayer five times a day to think about the future. Obviously, prayer also exists in other religions. Um, maybe it's a very effective way of uh, actually conceptualizing the future. Um, I'm not, I should say, I'm not religious myself, really. Although I, maybe I do believe in God, I don't, I don't really know. Um, but to be honest with you, um, I can see that that's a, it could be an effective way just to reflect and think about the future. Um, journaling could be a way of doing it. You could, you could journal in the morning. Um, 
use your imagination and don't label your current self. This comes from a, um, an article um, on hbr.org. Take ownership of your future self. Research has shown that shaping your future shell, self sorry, requires the deliberate practice or the ability to develop yourself to a specific, towards a, spe a specific goal. So the same article recommends that we set specific, specific goals. Um, and a desired, out, a desired outcome, a belief that you can get there and a path to get there are also very important. So that's a, from a lecture, a psychology lecture by Jordan Peterson. He says that um, we need to desire the outcome. We need to want to get to that outcome. Uh, we need a path to be able to see a path to get there. And that's all part of our imagination where we imagine um, or otherwise, um, you know, searching the internet, for example, for solutions, um, drawing out on a piece of paper, going back to the drawing board, you know. Studies have shown that people living in poverty don't actually think about tomorrow very much. This is from a sociology lecture, but from New York University by Harvey Mullach. Um, people don't tend to think that they tend to um, poorer people. And this, I know, I'm aware this may be controversial, but it seems to be the case in a lot of Western societies, um, or at least American society, that people who are poorer, there have been studies done saying that they actually um, don't tend to think about the future so much. They will spend what they have on today. Um, and I think it's not just about spending, you know, it's about a future orientation. The verb in English to run out of, you know, you can run out of battery. So, um, you know, if you don't think about future future actions, uh, if you don't wash up, if you don't tidy, there's another verb, wash up, to wash up, to tidy up. If you don't do all of these things, then you're not really thinking about the future. Now, of course, there's a balance to be had between the future and the and the uh, the present moment, because it's for me, it's also about being ha happy in the present moment. Um, not everything's about money. So my path is to conceptualize the future regularly. There doesn't be, uh, appear to be much advice on how often you should do this. If you ask ChatGPT, can't really tell you how often you should do this. It says it depends on your particular the particular case. And again, conceptualize realistically. This is because procrastination often comes from conceptualizing things that are too big. So for example, if you see yourself going to the moon tomorrow, probably not going to happen. Don't think you'll manage to build a time machine. Machine you probably won't. Uh, conceptualizing something more realistic has much more of a chance of happening. So yeah, so I've got a, well, a couple of comments. We have this ability to conceptualize. I would say let's, you know, in terms of personal development, let's let's use it. Um, and a question for you, do you wake up slow or wake up fast? Um, so I wake up slow and think about my the day ahead in my bed, um, what I'm gonna be doing in the, in the, in the future in my bed. I much, prefer, I much prefer to wake up slow can wake up fast. And the other point from Jordan Peterson is that there will be obstacles in your way. You must expect this, right? Um, so not everything is going to go exactly smoothly, as smoothly as you possibly thought that you conceptualized, but you can still go back to the drawing board. If you go back to the drawing board regularly, I think that you can uh, progress more quickly and um, Hopefully be more, you know, meet the objective that you want to meet. It doesn't have to be a financial objective. It can be another objective. Um, and, you know, um, harebrained uh, financial objectives um, um, may not be met. So you have to be aware of that. So try to be specific. Um, if you're interested in joining me on a Monday morning at the moment, um, I'm running a Monday morning uh, uh, daily routine. If you want to I'll put the, the link down below in the 
in the box below here. Um, we do a bit of music for good mood. We think about the future. We can journal. We can do gratitude journaling. We can do, which is recommended by psychology. Uh, we can do uh, journaling um, together. And we can also do um, a bit of socializing, which is also recommended for being happy. So let's socialize together online. Uh, thank you very much for listening. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.